Hi guys, Irish Trekkie here, bringing you a new review of Star Trek The Official Starships Collection. Uh, this issue is number 16, which features the Ferengi Marauder. Interesting ship, interesting paint application, but we put the ship to one side and we'll have a quick look at the actual magazine first off. Okay, so we have our standard fantastic uh, graphic outlay in there showing some nice detail that may not have been visible through the series where um, TNG for example uh, next generation where we would have become uh, acquainted with this ship um, interesting design um, again this is the Ferengi mm, capital ship let's say their 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 galaxy equivalent um, in the next generation um, some nice detail along the front kind of pincer um, styling off the ship but let's have a look inside and see what surprises uh, lay before us so we have our um, how to mount instructions there so we'll have a bit of fun with that later i assume and um, some key specifications uh, again we have a 450 um ferengi on this but i'd say the the, the massive amount of it will be all storage there um, again the rules of acquisition and all that jazz and uh, i think the history with these ships is that I get a lot of their technology would have been bought um, again these guys are slippery little devils at the best of times but um, interesting um, design kind of uh, insect like reminds me of um, do you remember Star Trek to the Wrath of Khan the original one where they had those little kind of bugs that went into Chekhov's ear they had those kind of like nippy pincer things they are, that the ship always reminded me of that but uh, that's enough of my nonsensical <laughs> rambulations there so uh, nice graphic um kind of has kind of like a studio model picture there not super high detail but again um, you see that kind of scattered effect windows on the front along with the engines and so on and so forth so we have a little bit of background on the ship itself let me just move that light because the glare is annoying me. Right? apologies about that yet to build a studio for these reviews <laughs> um but moving on we have some nice little on-screen showdowns that's the view screen from the enterprise d um i get a formidable ship um at the best of times for ferengi um, so we have a side by side of the shuttles there as well again you have that pincer um, design on them and um, we have our kind of little run through key points of interest there so the hydrogen collectors the energy um, dissipation veins what do we have the deflector array so that'll be the deflector array comparable to the Enterprise D's blue uh, dish style there direct energy weapons warp engines along the back so we have a warp engines on that here um yeah pretty cool pretty cool not my favorite ship in the world but you know it's nice for the collection i kind of like the design here similar to the rear compartment of the dominion battle cruiser if you check out one of my previous can't remember what the version was how dare me what issue was it oh apologies um i'll put that in the comment section below uh or i link it in an annotation but yeah it had that kind of similar honeycomb effect that you can see on there and on the deflector dish as well and actually on here as well so that's pretty cool so again because this is a first model of this particular species we have a creating the ferengi so we saw that with um, the borg uh, the cardassians and previous issues there as well um, some nice designs on there, kind of what may have been, kind of funny looking, kind of Santa's elf kind of style there as well. Uh, moving on, my favourite parts, the designing the Ferengi Marauder. So the evolution stayed pretty consistent from what I can see, I've yet to kind of read this. Um, again, these are my initial kind of run throughs, but it looks fairly consistent to be honest with you, which is pretty cool. You'd always see a lot of uh, variation between them. Um, we have some pictures here of the studio model. Um, that's a pretty cool shot there, if I can get it in focus. Um, the showdown between the Enterprise D and the Marauder itself. So a lot of detail in the underneath of the ship that we may not have normally seen, which is cool. Moving on. And our on-screen appearances. 
So uh, we would have seen this primarily in Voyager, um, also in Next Generation. It had that cool um, episode with um, Inside Man, which had that kind of holographic character of Reg Barkley, who was one of my all-time favorite characters, by the by. Um, but that was a pretty cool one. Check out that issue. Check out that series. Uh, that episode in Voyager is pretty cool, pretty entertaining. And um, Reg played a cool role in that whole series. And uh, he had some very interesting shows in The Next Generation as well, being converted into the kind of most evolved human person ever to an arachnid, I think, in one of the kind of de-evolution episodes as well. But um, that's enough about Rage, uh, the hollow fanatic. That's a sneak peek at issue 17, uh, The Dauntless, which is a nice looking ship. So this is your Federation, not Federation. Um, it's a trap episode um, from Voyager. Uh, so this was the ship that was designed to look like um, a rescue ship sent by the Federation to return the crew back to the Alpha Quadrant when in fact it was designed to lure them to the Borg. <laughs> anyway, enough about that. Let's close on the ending graphics. And let's jump to the main thrill of it. The Marauder. I don't know if you can see that inside. Pretty interesting paint application on this. Let me focus, focus. So uh, let me put my keyboard up. A little tad. And put that to side. Let me focus. Sorry. Oh, come on. Voila. Okay. And we have our stand. Marauder. A lot of people are saying that um, different names are appearing. I actually haven't checked mine too, too much. Um, again, I always just like that they have the felt back in on them. So it makes them kind of sit pretty in the stand. But um, otherwise, I haven't had much issues with my models, which is pretty good. So let's hope that continues. So I'm just assembling this behind the scenes. Voila. So let's get to the main attraction. So I'm going to get this up close like I normally do and see if I can get a focus on it okay right so we have some uh, weathering by the looks of it uh, um, score scorch marks even on the back of it and it fades into white which um, maybe the kind of the glow off the warp but that does seem accurate with the pictures I've seen in the magazine itself so we have our um, side panels there now on the dominion they were honeycomb as well now they weren't translucent like this which i would have preferred on the battle cruiser but you can kind of see into the model there but they're definitely not honeycomb let's have a look underneath so they are ridged on the underneath but again they're not honeycomb with this and just why we have it flipped over they have included a lot of detail but the paint is very uniform um, it would have been nice to maybe have some differentiation in the panelling here. Just something rather than just being super freaking orange. But uh, again, you have a nice level of detail there on the disruptors as well. Um, no panelling on the front for the deflector, which is unusual. Not even a paint decal here. Um, whole lot of detail on this top point though. So we have our Ferengi badge with a lot of windows so that scatter effect is what you can see on the actual so this window here they do look a bit flicked on with the paintbrush but it is accurate to be honest with you um with what you can see in the actual magazine itself and again on the rear part of it it's nice um wait a minute. it's kind of metal at the front definitely plastic underneath but it's pretty cool. I do like it. You know, again, I wouldn't have been a fan of this ship at all. But uh, I think they've done a pretty good job on it, to be honest with you. Uh, it's one of the more exciting paint applications. Um, they made a good effort here. Uh, I, I, I'm going to have to have a look at this in more detail. But um, I think it's pretty decent, to be honest with you. But again, it's a Ferengi ship. You know, um, I'm sure certain people would like Ferengi. Uh, Ferengi ships and the Ferengi uh, race, but they wouldn't have been on my top favourite 
species in Star Trek canon. But um, nice ship, nice ship all the same. So we have our warp engines along the back. I don't see really any issues here. Um, just that you see the back panel along here. Um, you can see on this side, it's a little, let me just get a close up here on it if I can. There you go. It's not uniform. It's kind of like it's hasn't been cleared out fully. That's the only thing I can really see on it to begin with. So, whoosh. Um, again, the underside's a bit of a letdown. But again, it's the underside. It's not going to be super visible. That's how it's going to be mounted. Now, just in relation to mounting, uh, let's see how this actually sits. Is that how it actually goes on, is it? Pretty much no other way that it could go on, really. It must go like that. Voila. So she sits true and steady, pretty much occupying the focus, uh, main bulk off the stand. Um, a lot of them have that kind of like, you know, raised attack and so on and so forth, but this is fairly steady, just sitting on its stand pretty proudly. That's pretty cool. It's... It's not going to fall off, like if you tilt it back, it's going to come off there fairly handily. Uh, let me just have a look at the mounting instructions, which I should have done earlier, just to be 100% sure. So what do you guys think of the Marauder? How do you think the collection's gone so far? Um, hit me up with some comments below, but um, I hope you guys are happy with this. Uh, that mounting seems okay. Yeah, no, that seems to be mounted the correct way. So yeah, so that's our Ferengi Marauder. So as normal, I tend to compare it, compare it, compare it with a previous issue. So, battle to the death, face off. Pretty cool. Yeah, they kind of scale up pretty okay. I think the Marauder may be a little bit bigger in comparison if you, if you were to kind of scale them one to one. But um. Again, yeah, that'll be kind of one of the more iconic kind of views off of there, you know, squaring up to the Enterprise D. And, you know, all fairness, you know, they were a ballsy species to do that anyway, for the flagship federation, uh, USS Enterprise D. So, yeah, that concludes my uh, review of issue 16, Star Trek, the official Starships collection featuring the Ferengi Marauder. Hope you guys enjoyed this and if you did, uh, don't forget to hit the like, share and subscribe button. Um, the channel is going pretty well and I'm super stoked that you guys are enjoying it and do keep up the comments. Love getting them, uh, love responding to each and every one of them as well, uh, be it good or bad. You know, your feedback does help me improve my channel and make it more enjoyable for you guys as well. So that is awesome. So again, uh, thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day. I've been Irish Trekkie. Good luck. Bye-bye.